Welcome everybody to the very last BYU Overdrive Messages of 2009. I'm your host, CSJ Hawkins09, and what a show for you this week. Well, what a way to kick off Overdrive with the six-man tag team matchup. As we can see Lee Andrews making it, making his way towards the ring. And Lee Andrews will be involved in the Fatal 4-Way matchup where Alex Olsen will be defending the European Championship against Lee Andrews, David Tag Williams, and Matthew Morris in the Fatal 4-Way matchup at Dynasty 3. And that's going to be an amazing Fatal 4-Way matchup. Lee Andrews, a former European Champion, would like to get the belt back. As far as you know, Dothan is concerned, I'm not really sure what he's going to be doing in Dynasty. I really hope it's on it. This is the very last time that's 2009. You're on Overdrive. On the road to Dynasty, this is where it ends. What an amazing year Lee Andrews has been having. And so is this man right here. David Tank Williams. He's had a decent year. But, you know, it's a shame that the New Welsh Order broke up when he got rid of his faction. And that stable has been long gone. And Napalm and Natrix, really, they've not done that much since then. Napalm has really done that much. Natrix, they're having his issues with David Tank Williams. That's not been settled. Probably one of these days it will be settled yet again. They may collide once again, but I guess we'll never know. But other than that, yeah, Days of Tank Williams will be involved in the Fatal 4-Way at Dynasty 3. But he's been having issues recently with Matt Morris because he's pretty pissed off about Matt DeMorris using his F5 finisher. He wants to prove to this business once and for all he's the only man that can use the F5. And show the world that his F5 is a lot better than anybody else's. I mean, yeah, I know Brandon Moore uses it, Matt DeMorris as well. But he feels that he's the most dominant guy to have the F5. As we can see right here, LVG coming down to the ring. And as Dicey 3 just announced that LVG will be taking on CJ Hawkins' younger brother, Cody Hawkins. That's right, you heard it. LVG will be taking on Cody Hawkins at Dynasty 3. I mean, last year he lost to Cadaveris at the second Dynasty when he was known as Lexter. And that was an amazing matchup. Man. Whoa! Damn. And look at this, and here comes Donathan Griffin. The fixating ovation. I really hope he gets a freaking match in time before Dynasty. I really hope so. So it is a shame that he's not been booked for Dynasty yet. Of course, Dynasty 3 will be taking place in Tampa, Florida. And um, just to let you guys know that this is going to be a three-day event. And I'll tell you more about it. Um, not during the show, but probably during one of my first ever rants about where the direction of the business will be heading in 2010 and everything, and I'll talk about that later on. But we'll focus on this six-man tag team matchup. Yeah, what a year it's been, you know. We've had our ups and downs this year, you know. We've had a lot of good things, a few bad things this year, you know. With the YouTube hiatus thing that, uh, you know. And 
Here comes Matthew Morris. Matthew Morris has been having an interesting year. It's been a very strange year for Matthew Morris. He only debuted like around the fall, I believe. If memory serves me correctly, I think it was around the fall this year. I mean, he's making a big impact recently. The Data Tank Wars, for some reason, does not like Matt or Morris. Because he's been pissed off that he's been using the F5. Just for that reason. Like I said before, he wants to prove to the world that he's the man that knows how to use the F5 better than everybody in the world. And here comes Cody Hawkins, CJ Hawkins' younger brother, the brother of the former world champion. Damn! Standing ovation for Cody Hawkins. And he's been having really a decent year, you know? But I'm sure next year he'll improve. Yeah, once 2009 is over, this decade of the 2000s is over. Then we're going to be entering a new decade, the 2010s. And we'll find out in 2010 what this, de this next decade will bring to us. Never know. Looks like me, Andrews, and Donovan Griffin will be kicking things off in this matchup. Referee calls to the bell, and here we go. Oh, punch to the face by me, Andrews. But yeah, it's been like a, it's been a decent year for us. There's been a lot of good things for us. Some, some down things, you know. Some bad things, you know. It's been like a. Murphy calls it out, here we go, and look at this, Lee Andrews kicking things off, one, two, and, oh no, Lee Andrews does not get the pinball over Donovan, oh nice spinning kick by Lee Andrews, right through the eyes, oh and a low blow by Lee Andrews, and Donovan takes down Lee Andrews, trying to fight back, I just ripped this corner, Tags in Matt Morris. But yeah, like I was trying to say, you know, it's been an interesting year. I mean, there's been some, a lot of good things, some bad things, you know. But, you know, we kind of started this year with the boycott thing around January. I mean, we were that pissed off. And, you know, I apologize to the feds, you know, with the boycott thing. But we were in a war against WS, you know, like garbage. We were just pissed off that our video getting blocked and everything. It was a bunch of bullshit. I think they still could bitch and complain about us. Ashley threw up said, Oh, it is. Lee Andrews might get the pinball and No, real quick. Nice clothesline by Matt to Morris. Punch to the guy. Uh, oh, chop to the chest. And another chop to the chest. But I do have some good news for you fans that, you know, that I will announce on my rant that, uh, J.D. Cage will be returning to do commentary, but he'll only do ties on the third day. Wait a minute, he's got the cover, one, two, no, Lee Andrews kicks out. But yeah, I'll talk about that more a little bit, um, 